This whole thing that's going on in this world, we're in a big tender box, folks. Have you noticed the food prices are still rising in the stores on a lot of different goods? So who's going to pay that ultimate price? We are the ones that will pay that price. The time to prepare is now. The time has come. You know, there is a lot of different things that are going to be taking place. A lot of the economic people of this country are warning on the food shortage crisis that could be coming. The higher prices of food, if you could believe that they could go any higher than what they already have. They're talking some of these prices on like milk and egg and cheese and all this kind of stuff is going to go up anywhere between 50 and 70 percent is going to be a very difficult time in American history as far as the hard working American people trying to make ends meet not being able to do it. They're going to be struggling all along this course that we have been put on. These high inflation rates, the recession could be catastrophic for a lot of American families. One in five people are already saying now that they are having a hard time putting food on the table for their families. What are they going to do when the prices soar even higher than what they are now? The food that they need to feed their families. Do we all think that the food bank's going to be able to handle the high volume of people that are going to be in these food lines? Just like when Charlie Victor 19 came and people didn't have food. They didn't weren't prepared. They did not know how to go about their daily lives. They had to rely on these other places, these other type of food banks, friends, families, and everything else. We should have learned by that situation what we are about ready to go into once again. Maybe it is not a pandemic, but it is a pandemic on the level of food, not being able to afford to buy the food that is going to be necessary for you and your family. Things are going to be getting outrageously high and it's only going to get worse. We have to make a plan. We have to start planning now on what we're going to do with what is ahead of us. How are we going to overcome all these different obstacles that we're going to have to deal with on a daily basis, on a weekly basis? When you get paid, are you going to have enough money left to buy food and put it on a table once you pay for your housing, once you pay for your heating, once you pay for your vehicle and the gas it's going to cost you to get back and forth to work. Are you going to be able to survive working a nine to five job? Or are you going to be someone that's going to have to work two, maybe three jobs just to make ends meet so that you can put that food on the table? The price of chicken itself has risen so much over the last year that a lot of people can't even afford to buy chicken anymore. It's getting to the point to where something has to give. We have to have some type of stability to come back into the system, really get this under control. We do not really know where this is going to end. We do not even know how hard this is going to be on so many people. We do know that rather they want to tell us or not, folks, it's only a matter of time before all these things start to all line up in perfect order as the stars aligned in the heavens that we are going to have to have a plan because these things are going to come back and they're going to start adding up where we cannot do and afford what we need to be able to do and afford. We need to make sure that our kids have food. We need to make sure our kids have the clothing they need for winter. We need to make sure that the kids have the supplies they need for school. We have to make sure that we 
are also prepared for the winter time and that we can survive the winter doing our jobs, getting to work, putting a roof over our kids' head, making sure our kids are fed three square meals a day, not one. We don't want to be the one. We want to make sure that what we are doing and how we are preparing, that we are securing the future of our families. It is so vitally important that we pay attention to what is going on, take the blinders off and make sure that people around us understand the importance, especially our families and our very close friends. They may not agree with you. They may not believe you. They may think that you're just crazy. They may think that you're just reading something into this. The time is now. Your time is slowly running out. You have a choice whether to be prepared or not to be prepared. Do you want to be in that food line or do you want to be home safe with your family? That is the question. The question stands. What are you going to do today to make tomorrow a better future for you and your family and your kids? Because in the end, that is what this is all about and why you need to be planning and why you need to be paying attention. Your family depends on you being prepared and being ahead of the game so that you will not be going hungry, you will not be cold. Maybe things could be tough, but if you're prepared, it won't be as tough as it's gonna be if you're not prepared in the very end. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Till next time.